but what do you mean just do an in what like what this is my throwing routine on fm22 is that like is that all right Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Clates. Today, a short and simple video for you. I'm going to be sharing my attacking throw-in routine and I think you're going to really enjoy it. I think you're going to be able to score more goals in your save from throw-ins and there's not much else to it. I think we should get straight into it. Before we do get into it, a super quick reminder that if you've not already subscribed to the channel and if you use this throw-in routine in your saves, all I ask in return is just hit a little sub to the channel hit that subscribe button we are pushing towards 25,000 subscribers without further ado as youtubers love to say let's get into the routine so to begin then a brief description of the routine and i'm going to show you some footage of it as i do describe it now the first thing to say is that it's not a long throw routine i know in the past that has been so effective it's still somewhat effective these days even though it's been patched and then patched again to try and take away some of that effectiveness no this routine is in fact it's going to be taking advantage of something else in the match engine which you may or may not have already noticed that is the inability of defenders to defend at the back post that is right it is almost realistic when you think about trent alexander arnold defending against mitrovic in that premier league opener where yeah they're a little bit like that in football manager 2022 they don't even jump at the back post and they cannot defend against players that are stronger than them in the air you're seeing it in some of these clips here as i describe it but this routine is particularly effective because we get our best header of the ball at that back post, which for my case is usually a centre back and they score the goals from there. You'll be seeing clips here of Gabriel heading it in at the back post, Bremer as well as other players that are my best headers of the ball because they're centre backs and they're really good in the air. They've got fantastic jumping reach and they've got fantastic heading. That is the premise of it. You see that they take the throw in short, they pass it around a little bit before inevitably launching the ball into the box to that far post and somebody gets on the end of it to head it in. That's our routine. Let me show you how you go about setting it up and how you can make sure you get the most out of it when you put it into your game. So let's have a look at our tactic in game then by going to our tactic screen and selecting our set pieces tab at the top. We're going to go to throw ins and today we're going to be focusing on the attack scenario because I mean that's what we're looking at isn't it? We're looking at how we can score goals from this particular routine. There is a defending routine on the screen there which is effective for me so if you did want to copy it then feel free to copy it from here but I don't think this one really does need a video in the, in the future. We are also just to mention we are using this with my 415 Jinga tactic which looks like this there is a video all about this tactic too obviously when you're setting this up just bear in mind that your shape might be slightly different to mine it probably will be slightly different to mine because mine has no midfield for example just bear that in mind when you're setting yours up but going back to the throwing routine selecting attack let's start with the right hand side and these are the general positions for your players then as you go about setting up this routine if we start with the taker we can click on him here interestingly for this if you've looked at some of the clips and seen how this this throw-in routine actually works you'll notice that they take a short throw in most of the time in fact all of the time in the uh, in the clips that i've shown you interestingly the player instruction for him is to take mixed throw-ins now this is just it's been the most effective setting for me on this it probably will work almost the same on short maybe on quick too but you want your players to get into the positions going forward mix seems to get the most and the best results for me so i've left it on mixed which because there are so many players who come short they choose the best option rather than looking for the guy who is closest, which sometimes happen if you select short. So leave it on mixed and you've got three players that come short to collect the ball. Now, these players, you want these players to be able to cross the ball because as you would have seen from some of our clips, we'll roll a few more as we describe it here. You want these players to deliver the ball to the to the back post and you want players who can cross the ball. Now, I'm actually lacking in players that can cross the ball in my save. But I've got players like Welton Costin. I've got players like Martinelli. These aren't the players that I want to be on the end of my crosses. They're the players that I want to be delivering the crosses instead. Even if their crossing attribute is quite low, which you may have found. New gens have really low crossing, don't they? If you can get good crossing, good passers, good dribblers here, because you've seen there's a bit of ticky tacker football, and then eventually the ball gets delivered into the box. These are your players that you want to hear. Maybe technical dribbly types that, that can then get the ball into the box i'd be looking at you've also got two players that lurk on the outside of the box here on the outside of the area i've got players that aren't needed defensively so my center mid in bruno and then also one of my strikers who is vinicius who isn't very tall i don't want him to try and get on the end of the crosses here so most importantly though are going to be our players that are trying to get on the end of our crosses i've got angelo here because there wasn't really anywhere else to put him the most important player in this routine is going to be this player at the far post and for me 
it is my center back Gabriel. The reasons for that is he is six foot three. He has 17 jumping reach. He has 16 heading. His strength is really good too, which helps him to win those headers at 16. It's usually going to be one of your center backs. If your player here is better in the air than the player he's up against, he's going to win the headers and he's going to score goals. He has scored so many goals for me, Gabriel, just at this back post, also from corners as well, as I'm sure you would be aware, but he's so good in the air. He will win headers from this throwing routine, head the ball into the back of the net, as you can see here, look, and he will score goals for you. This is the most important player. Get your centre backs to go forward. Now, you might be thinking, I've got a striker who's got really good jumping reach. Do bear in mind the strength and, of course, the heading too. The strength and the bravery, though, for me, is why centre backs are really good at this, especially if they're taller to start with, even if their jumping reach is maybe one or two lower. Go for players that are going to win the headers, not just by their height, but also their bravery and their strength, which is why centre backs suit this really, really well. They out out jump and out fight that player at the back post and we've seen already defenders can't defend at the back post so if you get that far post crossing you're going to score goals from this gabriel is my example of this in other saves i've used other players too and they've been just as effective just to finish off our players and their positions i've got three players that stay back for this it's my other center back who's not quite as good in the air for me as you can see it's paulo cesar who doesn't quite have he's only six foot doesn't quite have the aerial prowess as uh, as gabriel here and i've also left back my fullbacks too because you know, you want some defenders to stay back as well. That's the basic premise. I've mirrored it on the other side as well. You can see my back post header is also Gabriel. If we have a throw in from the left hand side, I've got the same players coming to collect the ball. The way that I've set it up means that we're not left wanting defensively, but we can score so many goals from this routine. And I really hope you go and try this in your saves and use it. Hopefully it's going to be effective for you. That's the general premise of it. It works. Go and try it. As always, you can download this routine by one of two choices. You can either go to the Steam Workshop. There is a link to that in the description down below today's video. It's also one of the pinned comments or it is the pinned comment just to make sure you can definitely download this. If you go to the Steam Workshop following that link, you will be able to subscribe to the tactic or to the routine and then you'll be able to load it in your game by going to your throw in routines and clicking on the routine in the top right hand corner and clicking load routine here. If you've subscribed to it correctly it will pop up here just check that it doesn't come up in load all routines and it might be in this one as well load it in and then you'll have it in your game if you're not using steam which i know some of you might be using epic games or maybe you're on xbox or something like that if you're not doing that there is a direct download link for you which just gives you the file which you'll need to drop into your football manager set pieces folder which you can also find here look um if you drop it into football manager set pieces it will then pop up here and you'll be able to load it into your game if you're on xbox i don't think you can download the link but you will be able to just copy it from this screen here so i suggest take a screenshot of this go to your game move your players to the correct places and um, hopefully it'll work from there. Either way, though, hopefully I have provided you with everything you need to be able to go and use this set piece routine in your games and hopefully score some goals by utilizing that back post advantage that your players can have over those static defenders a la Trent Alexander-Arnold against Mitrovic in the opening weekend of the Premier League. I don't know why I'm mentioning it. It makes me upset as a Liverpool fan. Hopefully you've enjoyed today's video. If it has been helpful for you, if you're going to use this or if you have used this effectively, please do subscribe to the channel. It's all I ask of you. Also, maybe leave a like on the video too and leave me some comments down below. Let me know how you've been getting on with it. Have you used something similar or is this something completely different to what you're going to use or been using in the past? Let me know in those comments down below. But most importantly, have a lovely rest of your day. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye. Oh, also, Patreon. Get involved. Get your name in the video at the end like these guys. Go.